Hello, sports fans and baseball fans and Stratomatic baseball fans. It's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, and today I am here with the next game in my Phillies imagined season, and we will go to the schedule. Um, And you can see the schedule is right here. This is going to be Thursday, July 2nd, and we are playing the San Diego Padres. We are the home team. We will set all these other games to auto. And uh, even though I am using the computer, we are also doing this card and dice. I have the charts right here with me, and you can see the dice cup ready to receive my rolls. And then we will enter the results based on what the rolls are. So all of this will be auto and then play day <clears throat> and then we will set up today's game. So uh, we go to manual and we bring it over here again. Now um, they will, I'm not really, let's see, we'll look at their eligibles. Uh, we'll bring Kirby Yates will make him available. And um, let's see. Let's make Perdomo available and uh, send down somebody else because they. Uh, let's see. We'll send down Altavela. I think he was in one of the other games that we played. So, oh, wait a minute. We might have too many. Yeah, we might have too many pitchers. You know what? I'll just send down a... There we go. I send down a starter who will not be starting this game. And so D Denelson Lamette is starting for them. They have a bullpen now that's fresh. And uh, for us, we have this lineup, and again, um, you will see that uh, that um, Harper is not in the lineup because he is injured. And so, let's see. Uh, you know what? I, I'm going to put in. For some reason, this lineup has Real Muto out of the lineup. And I'm going to put him back in the lineup. And we're going to move him up a little bit. We'll move him up there. But otherwise, I guess I'm good with this lineup. So, here we go. And let me move this up here. think it's out of the way of anything important. And uh, we will... Swing away. And so I'm going to roll the dice. And that is a 5-10. And a 5-10 here is a strikeout. So we will put the strikeout in. Jake Cronenworth strikes out. Um, our man Aaron Nola, our ace, is on the mound. And so we will pitch to Trent Grisham. And he gets a 1-8, and a 1-8 is going to be a fly ball to right. So we will put that in. Fly out, right field. And you'll notice that there will be times when it just shows ground out or fly out or something, and it doesn't show the position. Then I'm just going to pick a position. That's how I do that. Um, okay, well, that is a 6-10. And 610 is going to be a ground ball, third base X. The third baseman is a 4E18. That roll was an 18, so I think that's an out. And it is. It is a ground out, and that will be that. Ground out, um, third to first. All right, so the amazing Quinn is up for us, and he gets a 211, which is going to be a single. 
the amazing Quinn is aboard, he is going to try to steal. And as you can see, he is a... Let's see, we'll show you that. He is a stealing A, so he's going to try to steal second. That is a 9, so he steals second. So we will put that in. Uh, where is that? Stolen base. And now Hazley is up. No outs, man at second base. And he gets a 311. 311 is going to be a single. That is a one base single. It's a split single, so... We will stop... Um, Quinn has to stop at third. Runners are at the corners with no outs, and Gregorius is the batter, and he gets a 1-4, and a 1-4 is going to be a ground ball. Third base B, the infield was not in. So that will be a... Um, Let's see. He is. He goes to first, right? Yeah, I think he goes to first, and Hazley on first was out, and Quinn on third scores, and that is going to be a uh, third to first. So, or third to. Um, Third to second. And so Gregorius is now on with one out. One run is in. And McCutcheon is the batter. He gets a 6 8. That is going to be a strikeout. Two down, and our home run leader, Jay Bruce, is the batter. And he gets a 3-10. Is that a goner? It might be. It isn't. It's a fly ball. So Jay Bruce flies out. Um, and again, we don't. Um, it doesn't really specify, so we're just going to say right field because he is a left-handed hitter. I believe he's a left-handed hitter. Um and we'll say right field. So, um, the Padres are up here in the top of the second. We're winning one nothing, and Fernando Tati is the batter against Nola. He gets a 3-7. That's going to be a ground ball to first. So he grounds out, um, and we'll just give it to, to the first baseman right up. Will Myers is the batter. He gets a 6-4. 6-4 is going to be a ground ball to the shortstop. He's a 2-E-20. And we uh, have a 7 here. 7 and a 2, that's a ground ball. So he grounds out to short. Ground out, short to first. And Eric Hosmer, the first baseman, the Haas, is up. He gets a 4-2. That is going to be a single. Haas is aboard with Jason Castro as the uh, batter. He gets a 6-5, and a 6-5 is a ground ball short. He is a 2-E-20. That is a 19. It will be an out. Ground out. Um, Castro at bat is out. We'll just say he goes to second because it doesn't really matter. And that brings up Real Muto is our batter here in the bottom of the second inning. We're ahead 1-0, 5-10. is a ground ball to their third baseman. He is a 1-E-6. That is a 2. That is still going to be a ground out. So he grounds out. And Goslin is the batter. He gets a 5-11. 5-11 is going to be a ground ball to first. He is a 3-E-3. That is a 13. And that okay, that's on the air rating. 
E13 and 9 is going to be an E1. So that is a one base error by the first baseman. That allows Goslin on with one down. And that's a 112 for Baum. 112 is a ground ball shortstop double play. Six four three double play. And now the Padres are up here in the top of the third. We have a one nothing lead. Jerickson Profar gets a one twelve himself, and that's a ground ball shortstop. George Orna o Ona is up, and he gets a 5-8. Five, 5-8 eight. Five, eight is a ground ball to the shortstop. And Cronenworth is the batter. And he gets a 4-7. Four, 4-7 seven. Four, seven is a walk. Uh, you guys let me know in the comments, do you like watching me play it this way with the computer, or do you like the card and dice at the table method better? 2-7 is going to be a single to center field, and uh, the runner's Cronenworth, who is a 1-15 to running, uh, but there's two outs, so I'm just going to leave him. Well, wait a minute. No, you know what? Um... He becomes a 1 to 17 running um, with two outs. So we'll let him, yes, and so he will go to third. Manny Machado is up with two down. And that's a 6 7, and a 6 7 is a ground ball second base. He is a 4 E11. That is a 3. That's going to be big. Three and a four, that is going to be a single double asterisk and a run scores for the Padres. Grisham on first goes to third. And yeah, he and Cronenworth scores. Which brings up... Um, Yeah, which brings up Fernando Tati, and he gets a 2-5, and 2-5 is a strikeout. So the score is tied at 1 here. We're in a 1-1 game going to the bottom of the third inning with Hoskins at the plate. He gets a 4-4. That is going to be an out, and here's what I was talking about. It says line out, so I'm just going to give it a... Uh, Line out to the shortstop. And now if I had the cards, I would see who it was, but I'm not that concerned about it. Two to four, and two four is a ground ball second base. So he grounds out. Four to three. And Hazley is the batter. And he gets a 1-4, and that's going to be a ground ball to the pitcher. Ground out, pitcher to first base. And we go to the bottom of the fourth inning, tied at 1. And Will Myers is the batter. He gets a 4-2. That is going to be a strikeout. Eric Hosmer is the batter. One down, nobody on, and he gets a 1-8. One 1-8 eight. One eight is a strikeout. And Jason Castro comes up. And he gets a 2-9. And a 2-9 is a strikeout. 
out. I think he struck out the side there. Nice. So we're going to the bottom of the fourth in a 1-1 game with Gregorius the batter. He gets a 5-9, and a 5-9 is going to be a strikeout. McCutcheon is up with one down and nobody on. He gets a 2-12. 2-12 is going to be a ground ball shortstop. I apologize if some of these rolls don't um, show up on the board. I'm, I'm doing the best I can here. Uh, one two is going to be a ground ball first base. So ground out, and we'll just give it right over to the first baseman, and we're going to the top of the fifth in a one-one game between the Padres and the uh, Phillies. And that's a six ten. Six ten is a ground ball third base. He is a four e eighteen. That is a six. That's going to be on the E18, so we'll roll that. That is a 9. And uh, 9 is going to be a ground ball, so he's out. Five to three. And George Ona. Three seven. 3-7 is going to be a ground ball. And we will see, say that he grounds out to third base. And we're going to the bottom of the fifth. 1-1 one, one game here. Both pitchers pitching a gem. Jake Cronenworth is the batter. He gets a... Oh no, wait. There's only There was two, two outs, so... And that is going to be a single. Yeah. So Cronenworth gets a hit. We're not. Uh, we're not up yet. Um, and Trent Grisham is the batter. He gets a one ten, and a one ten is going to be a home run. Trent Grisham goes deep off of uh, Nola and gives the Padres a. Three to one lead here with Machado up and he gets a two eight and he's gonna ground out to the pitcher. So that'll be the third out. That will be the third out. And we wished it had been back when I thought it was the third out, but we're down three one now in the bottom of the fifth with Real Muto, the batter, and he gets a three six. Three six is going to be an out. He's gonna fly out. To center field, we'll say. Goslin is the batter. He gets a 4 9. 4 9 is a ground ball to the shortstop. He's a 1 E8. That is a 13. And that's going to be an out. Which brings up Alec Baum. And he gets a 1-7, and a 1-7 is a walk. Reese Hoskins is up. Reese Hoskins gets a 1-6. That's going to be a strikeout right between some other stuff that would have been nice. So we're going to the, the uh, top of the sixth. 1-1, one, one, Fernando Tati is the batter for San Diego. He gets a 112, and that's going to be a strikeout. Will Myers gets a 2 6, and 2 6 is going to be a triple. Will Myers with a triple. Runner 90 feet away. I'm not going to bring the infield in, though. I'm going to pitch to Hosmer. 310 and a 310 is a ground ball first base C, so we pay for that. Um, the run does score. And 
And the first baseman just makes the play, and they take a 4-1 to one lead. Castro gets a 1-2, and a 1-2 is a strikeout. I mean, really, our offense should be better than this. It should be good enough to get three more runs, but we'll see. We're in the bottom of the sixth inning with Roman the Amazing Quinn up. He gets a 1-6. That's going to be a strikeout. Adam Hazley is the batter. He gets a 3-6, and a 3-6 is going to be a single. Gregor, the Gregorius man, is up with one on and one out. He gets a 2-8, that's a fly ball to left. And that brings up McCutcheon. And McCutcheon gets a 6-8. And does this guy give up anything? I mean, God, strikeout. And we go to the uh, top of the seventh. And I still got Nola out there because Nola's pitching well. I mean, somewhat well. 6-7. 6-7 is a ground ball to the second baseman. He is a 4-E11. That is a 3. And I don't like the looks of that. That is going to be a single, as I suspected. And let's see what Profar is stealing. Stealing, he's a B. So he's going to try it. What the hell? They're playing with house money. That is an 11. And a B is 1 to 13. And um, the arm on Real Muto is a negative 2, so he barely makes it. So we will put in uh, stolen base. And George Ona is up. He gets a 6-6. Six, six. That is a strikeout. I haven't seen that he's tired yet, so it is a legit strikeout. And Cronenworth is up. He gets a 3-7, and a 3-7 is a strikeout. So uh, Nola's buckling down here, as he has to, with Trent Grisham up. He gets a 6-7. And 6-7 is a ground ball second. He is a 4-E11. And that is an 11. So we're looking at the E11 and rolling the dice for the air rating. And that's a 6. So that's a ground ball. He grounds out. And we go to the bottom of the seventh, and Dinelson and Lamette pitching our gem here. 6-5 is a fly ball. So he, he flies out, we'll say to right field. Real Muto is up. He gets a 6-10. Went off the screen, but as you can see, baby, if I move it around here, you can see that it's a, it's a legit 6-10. 6-10 uh, is a fly ball center. Center is a 2-E6. That is a 15, probably going to be an out. And it is. Or no, it's not a sack fly. It's a fly out. Fly out to center, and Phil Goslin's up with two down, and he gets a 2-6, which is going to be a strikeout. All right, uh, we're going to take Nola out. Um, he's pitched seven, 
and we're gonna get somebody else out there I'm gonna bring in Blake Parker he's having a good year 29 innings pitch 283 earned run average and we will roll the dice for Machado he gets a 2-7 and a 2-7 is a ground ball to the shortstop Fernando Tati is up that is a 5-7 five, 5-7 seven. Five, seven is a strikeout And Will Myers is up. Two down, nobody on. And a 2-6 for him is going to be a fly ball. And we'll give that to the center fielder. And Alec Baum is up in the bottom of the eighth here. Getting late for the Phillies. And we're going to take Denilson Lamette out. Got to be fair here. Most Managers would take a guy out after um, seven innings pitched, the starter anyway. So we're going to bring in Trevor Rosenthal for the eighth. Rosenthal on the mound, bomb up, and he gets a 310, and that is going to be a single. So let's see if we can get something going here. We've got Hoskins up. That is a 311. 311 is a ground ball pitcher A, so we cannot. It's going to be a double play. Ground ball. Out. 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 Uh, pitcher to second to first. And that brings to the plate the amazing Quinn. And he gets a 4-7. And 4-7 is a strikeout. So we get nothing there. And um, it is getting late. It's 4-1. to one. Hosmer is the batter. He gets a 4-9. That's going to be a walk. Castro is the batter. He gets a 1-9. One 1-9 nine. One nine will be a strikeout. Jerickson Profar is the batter. He gets a 4-5. That is going to be a serious triple and knock in another run. And Profar is 90 feet away with only one out. And um, George Ona is the batter. 6-7. That is going to be a strikeout. And Cronenworth is up. We're down 5-1. Man 90 feet away. That is a 5-8. Five 5-8 eight. Five eight is going to be a ground ball to second. That is unfortunately a 3. So that is going to be a run, I believe. And it is going to be a single and a run. And at this point, I don't really hold out a lot of hope for us. And we're just going to let him finish even though he is tired. I don't hold out a lot of hope for us winning this game. 2-6 is going to be a single. Unbelievable. 1-4 to four and he gets it. With Machado up. Two men on. Two, two men out. And he gets a 5-6. Five, 5-6 six. Five, six will be a strike out without the, uh, without the single double asterisk. So we're in the bottom of the ninth. We're down six to one. Um, they'll leave Rosenthal out there. They might as well. Six two is going to be a strikeout. And Gregorius is up. And we will take a look at the standings and the stats and everything after this game. Four five is a. Uh, Single. No, wait. No, it's a, actually it's a uh, double. So there's a double. Unfortunately, we're down by way too much. 
for that to matter. If we were down by one or two, I would be kind of encouraged by that, but 6-4 is a fly ball to center. He is a 2-E-6. That is an 18. That'll be a fly out. And that brings up our man, our main man, Bruce. And Bruce gets a 4-6. That is going to be a strikeout. And so we lose another one. So here's the box score. We'll get the box score up and uh, move this over here. So this is how it this is how it went. Take a look at the box score. Um, Lamette went seven. He allowed only three hits and only walked one guy and allowed one earned run. I did not remember him ever being that good in his life. Um, and Rosenthal went two and allowed no runs. Nola gets the loss. He went seven. He allowed seven hits and walked one and four earned runs. And then Parker came in, pitched two, and allowed two earned runs, uh, raising his ERA to 323 on the year. And uh, we'll look at league stats to see where we are. As you can see, we are still, we're last in probably all of baseball here. We're 30 and 57. The Baltimore Orioles are one game better than us at 31 and 56, and Boston is two games better than us at 32 and 55, as is Detroit. Um, and yeah, so we are still the worst team in the league. Take a quick look at some stats uh, based on this after you know after this game. I will decrease the size of the, the dice cup so you can see everything clearly. Um, you can see we're wasting a good year by Bruce. He's hitting 259 with 22 homers and four, 14 doubles and six triples. I mean, he leads in triples and home runs. Um, it did hurt not to have Harper, but of course he is injured. So we have a 535 team earned run average, a 245 team batting average, um, and 124 home runs in 87 games. So there you go. I'll let you take a quick look at that. Um, but that is going to be it for me. Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.